It's Friday, May 6th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. Starting next month, travelers will be allowed to enter South Korea without a visa through Jeju and Yangyang International Airports. This comes as the country has decided to resume its visa waiver program for foreign visitors that was suspended for the past two years due to the pandemic. And now that the virus wave has slowed down, South Korea is trying to revive the tourism industry by readjusting its entry policies. So from June 1st, all foreign visitors, except for those from 24 countries designated by the Justice Minister, can stay on Jeju Island for up to 30 days without a visa. Also, group tours with five or more travelers from Vietnam, Indonesia, Mongolia and the Philippines arriving through Yangyang International Airport can also stay in the country for up to 15 days without a visa. South Korea's finance ministry has vowed to seek ways to tackle market volatility after the U.S. central bank raises key interest rates by half a percentage point earlier this week. This marked the Fed's biggest rate hike in 22 years, and Fed Chairman Jerome Powell said further rate hikes are also on the table in the next couple of meetings. Amid the rise in global uncertainties, South Korea's finance ministry said Friday that it will closely monitor the market situation and risk factors with extra caution and take preemptive measures if necessary. However, the ministry also noted that external uncertainties have had a limited impact on the South Korean economy up until now, citing the country's relatively resilient economic recovery and improved consumer sentiment in recent months. Yesterday was Children's Day here in South Korea, and for the first time in almost three years, people got to celebrate the national holiday without social distancing or wearing masks outside. Various events were held across the country, as Thursday also marked the 100th Children's Day in South Korea. Things felt a lot more normal, with places like amusement parks and other kid-friendly venues bustling with crowds. Roads and highways were also jammed with traffic, as many families try to enjoy the summer-like weather outside on this holiday. And those are your top stories. For full-length articles, you can go to our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.